Okay, I'm making this YouTube video to show you the graft. This is after a day and a half. The uh, battery started out here charged with a little jolt. And then you can see it settled down under load and kept going out. And you can see this is where the working voltage is, and it's still continuing to drop a little bit, and I don't expect it'll drop much more. There you can see the meter. It's, it's about seven-tenths of a volt, or seven, five, three. That corresponds with this meter right here. And you can see the LED, and this is running on a power oscillator that Chuck and I built for it uh, with number 40 wire. And that the only difference here is this cell is doped with selenium. Okay? Now I've found something out here. I'm going to give it a test after this is done. And we just made this one, this cell, brand new with the star pattern that Marcus Reed suggested in an email. Um, the thing is that uh, what we've, this is selenium rigel salts, Epsom salts, and some alum just a little bit of elm in here so we want to see what this cell does now we've already charged it and it's sitting at about 1.78 volts so we're going to do this test next um, I'm going to use magnesium copper because I feel that's the right thing now the usable power of this cell is right there it's less than one milliamp okay so here's the one mil milliamp scale and you can see that that's the usable power range and the LED is still lit because the oscillator can go down to three tenths so that's all the current that the cell is capable of doing it is a total crystal cell the only difference is it's selenium doped and then once again here's your voltage and it fluctuates here goes up goes down and that's where it about stays and you can see on the chart that it started out way up here at about after it was loaded about nine tenths and then came down and it's following the typical patterns of a crystal cell this is what I would expect to see however by changing the doping materials a little bit maybe we can make this stay up here and flat line all the way across so anyway just wanted to share this with you you know once again I'll say it's one milliamp a little less it's 0.755 the cell is in protection mode all by itself now so if it's gaining if it's getting energy like the casmer effect or scavenging for energy you'd expect that the cell would input the energy and it would stay up along this line up here but you can see it's not doing that it's following the normal typical crystal cell in operation so far now so far a dead NICAD battery would have beat this already and uh, Chuck's got an el elm cell with copper and a drop of water over there and hasn't had water for two weeks maybe I'll video that next and uh, it's running a dual load on the power oscillator so, once again there's your oscillator there's your LED so this is under power situation now just for the heck of it since you've already seen the graphs what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the power oscillator from it and let you watch what happens here. Now notice this green line here. This green line right here is saying the cell's recovering. So, okay, and then you can see the voltage it's recovering. Now if I load it again,
it's going to fall off again to the same rate under load. You see, even though this potential is here, you don't, you can still see the LED is about the same under the power circuit. So yes, it can come back, and yes, it's typical of a crystal cell, including Marcus Reed's crystal cell. So we'll try the new one, and then I'll put up another video. Thanks for watching.